to Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this? You may ask, so I'll tell you. The exception of angel is messenger and the exception of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guest and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also, I like working with the angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Anita Swedman. But before that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching the show live at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, and transform their present, so they can take charge of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angelic reiki, angel oracle cards, guided meditation, hypnosis, to help women who feel lost get clear on their reason for being here. And I've also created several transformational packages, a journey through lifetimes, as well as a six-week guided meditation series to help you step into confidence. Now, each episode of the show covers various themes for your journey, a mini guided meditation or an angel card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Anita Swedman, about her own personal story of how a shy, introverted girl overcame bereavement, obstacles and tragedies to become a national multi-gold award-winning beauty therapist with her own beauty business and a massage therapist to the stars. Now, Anita is also known as No Ordinary Beauty Therapist, and she inspires shy, introverted, budding female entrepreneurs on how to become extraordinary so they can have the confidence to reach out to their dream career and they can achieve anything they set their mind to so they don't feel stuck where they are. Now, the universe worked in mysterious ways to guide Anita on her path to becoming an author. Now, experiencing Reiki and hypnotherapy to help heal bereavements. So how how so how how so how writing her book <laughs> helped her to heal when she thought she had truly healed Anita is passionate about inspiring introverted women on how to improve their mindset and confidence and how to move out of their comfort zone now her first book is launching very soon and this is a memoir sharing her heart-led story now with testimonials such as Anita is a, a superb professional with a huge heart a woman who followed that same heart and has helped every one of her clients. And now she is reaching out to inspire any woman or girl through her book, No Ordinary Girl. So without further delay, hello, Anita, and welcome to the Angels and Destiny show. How are you today? Hi, Ray. I'm really well, thank you. And thank you for having me on your lovely show. Uh, you're welcome. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that not only can you share this video, but you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts, as both Anita and I want you to be part of this conversation. So please do not be shy. So Anita, why don't you tell us more about your journey and how women can improve their mindset and confidence to move out of their comfort zone? Well, my journey started for me back in 2003 when I got married. Um, and I had an accident at work where I hit my head on the floor and I had a, a nice big black eye. And that was when I had my first ever wake up call. And people say to me, what do you mean a wake up call? It was the best thing that ever happened to me because if I had carried on what I was doing in my work that I was doing at the time, I was in a corporate pharmacy career, I wouldn't have made it to old age. The stress of the work had made my body just say no more. And I fell on the floor. It's becoming a poet now. <laughs> you are, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Um, but after that, it was probably about a year later when I had a dream. It was a vision so strong of myself having my own beauty business, and my own salon. But I was a pharmacy technician. Why was I having a vision of being a beauty therapist? I knew nothing about running a business or being a beauty therapist. So I just totally ignored him. But then a few weeks later, the, the dream was coming back to me again and again, and it was getting stronger. So I eventually looked into what it would entail to run my own business and become a beauty therapist. So I went to my local college, um, stood in line with all the 17 year olds at th well, 34 years of age at the wow. time. I'm 49 next month, I'm proud to say that. 
And I stood in line with all the youngsters who just left school. And I thought, why am I here? Why am I here? But something was pushing me. It was as if there was someone in the line pushing me forward to, to go and speak to the lecturers about um, being a beauty therapist. And uh, yeah, so that's where, where it first started for me. And I went to college for a year whilst I was still working full time, uh, night school studying. It was very, very hard work, very hard. Um, and at the end of the year, I developed duodenitis um, in my stomach. I had pain. I wanted to quit, but something kept inside kept saying to me, you know, you need to do this. You need to do this. So I did. Um, and then in 2012, it wasn't until 2012 that I eventually set up my own business. Um, but I'd been through a lot which is all in my book, what I went through, because um, I lost, obviously, because I lost my, um, lost my dad back in 1991. And it wasn't until I had hypnotherapy in 2008, when my sister lost her firstborn at two days old, um, that it all came to the surface that I was still grieving my dad. Uh. Um, and I found hypnotherapy very, very powerful um, in helping me heal um, it's not click your fingers and I will do as do as I say no. it's 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 to, it's getting into your subconscious mind and bringing to the surface what is going on in there um, and it was quite frightening at the time to think that I was even though I was grieving my niece I was actually grieving the death of my father um, I'd always felt my dad around me for many years. And maybe he was in that queue pushing me yeah, to do probably. it. Maybe. Um, but going back many, many years ago, before I started in pharmacy, back in 1990, no, it was 1995 at Christmas, when I left my current pharmacy job. And I was stood in line at the job centre and went in there and they used to run courses on your ideal career. And whenever I kept putting in, obviously, you know, what I could do, my interests, my qualifications and what I loved, it always kept coming up, librarian. And I remember thinking back then, why, why is it saying librarian? I'm working in pharmacy. I'm studying to be a pharmacy technician, you know. And it's not until now, obviously like last year, that the path was shown in lockdown um, on my path to become an author. Um, so yeah, but going back again to the, the hypnotherapy, um, even after having hypnotherapy, I thought I had healed. And it wasn't obviously until years later, realizing that I hadn't properly healed. Um, I lost my elder brother in 2018. He died of a heart defect. Um, so he died quite suddenly. So he died of a heart attack. And that was another big wake up call. I've had quite a lot of big wake up calls throughout my life. Um, but I experienced Reiki. Um, I'd had had Reiki with um, one of my friends who's an experienced uh, Reiki practitioner. Um, but this time I went with another practitioner and it was as if my brother had my brother had come to me. Mm. It was weird. It was very, 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 very strange. Unless you've actually experienced Reiki, you obviously you won't understand what I mean. But if obviously you have, then you know. And I could I could feel him around me. I'm getting energy shift energy shivers right now actually. Um, and he was there, and he was pushing me to to give up give up my career my pharmacy career for good and it was that that I finally set up my business full-time in November of 2018 and then a year later we went into lockdown I completed my first full year obviously then we went into lockdown um, and it was in January of last year when we was in how many lockdowns was it was it num lockdown number four I think oh, it was. I've, I've lost, lost track, I've many lost track. um yeah lockdown number four I think it was in January and Facebook had suggested um an author friend to me and I thought why is Facebook suggesting an author friend to me I had absolutely no idea but I just went with it friend of this author and then it was 
in March last year that I watched The Secret on Netflix, um, which is all about the law of attraction. Um, and obviously the universe pushes you in weird and mysterious ways. And I watched it three times and I sat there in awe and it made me realize that I was living my dream. Even though I was at a very low point, I thought I was getting bipolar. I was up, down, up, down. I was in fact living my dream. I'd put the work in, I'd quit my career, I'd put my all in to make it a success, which it was. Um, and I thought, you know, I need to tell the world about this. I need to tell people my story, how, what I went through to get to where I am. And then this lovely lady, Cassandra Farron, I'm gonna say her name, because she's yeah. very proud. And she was um, offering a free five day challenge on how to become an author. And something was pushing me to just go on it. I didn't think about it. I just went on this challenge. And before I knew it, by the end of the week, I'd written my first 3000 words at the end of the challenge. Wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and then she posted about joining her writing academy. Because even though I'd started writing, I didn't know how to take it any further. I knew nothing about becoming an author. So I joined her writing academy and it was the right thing to do. And three months later, I'd finished my wow. 27,000 word um, memoir, my autobiography, biography, um, on my journey of how a shy, introverted girl went through bereavements and tragedies and now sharing her story. Wow. That, that uh, is amazing. Um, you know and and that's the thing um so many people um during the various lockdowns have kind of like restructured and rethought about how they work um what they can do um and what they can offer um to to people so although it was it's for some people it has been detrimental for other people it's actually been a good thing for them um because it's given them new ideas spark new interests um etc et for them um which obviously has done in your case yeah it really has um and i am just so grateful for cassandra and her help and i just sing her praises um because she's a reiki um, practitioner as well and it's if i was guided to this person um which is amazing but most of my story is about improving your mindset and confidence because when I was 18, when my dad died, I used to hide behind him. I was in his shadow all the time. I used to hide behind him. You know, he was protecting me. So when he was gone from this world, um, I had no one to look after me. So I now then became the protector looking after everybody else. So I put all focus onto other people. Um, so it took it all off of myself. But then in, 2000 no hang on sorry go back 1990 yeah because it was 91 when he died I think it was 1996 when my brother my older brother obviously who passed on he introduced me to a business opportunity uh, network marketing and I was really really hooked with all this positive people that were in the room and the atmosphere was electric in there it was amazing and again I hid behind my brother yeah <laughs> so I was like no 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 I don't know but I you couldn't help but be drawn into the positivity that was going on so I signed up to the network marketing opportunity and obviously part of the program was reading self-help books positive motivation positive mental attitude books and I learned so much through that and I started to build a little business but I didn't believe in myself even though I was reading all these positive motivation books I didn't believe in myself as soon as I got a little bit of success then I would stop I'm not good enough I can't do this no 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 it's not for me it, it's for other people so I quit and this is all in my book mm. I quit so I didn't take it any further but those positive mental attitude books, everything was slowly drumming into my subconscious 
over the years, which has led me obviously to where I am now. Um, famous speakers like Jim Rohn, Tony Robbins. Um, I listen to them daily now, even now, and their words of wisdom are what have helped me yeah. to get to where I am. Um, so if you, anyone in this audience, if you are scared, shy, you, you can you can become the person that you want to be you know you look at other people and think well it's all right for them they've got it easy they know what they're doing trust me from someone who's been there they don't you just you just learn learn over the years it, it it's not overnight it takes time it takes a lot of practice um, and it, it's like going to the gym. You have to keep on it to see the results. Yeah, um, it, it is. It's, it's not a quick, oh, right, overnight. Yep, I'm I'm a success. You know, I'm doing this. Or, uh, you know, I'm out there. I'm in front of everyone. It does take, a, it, it, can t it can take, I mean, some people, yeah, it can be really quick. But mm. a majority of people, it can take um, a long time to actually, you know, and do that you know and I just I recently um, wrote a, a post you know myself about you know how I was kind of like quite introverted although people obviously look at me and go yeah right whatever um, yeah. and that but I found acting and that was my way of hiding behind characters um you know before I got before I stepped into my confidence mm. um to you know to be who I really am and not hide behind a, um, a persona and anymore so you, you know some people can do it really quickly but a majority of people it does take um a, a while while to do it. and it's a case of don't give up mm. with with it um you know and things like the secret are you know are really good um some people some people resonate with it some people don't resonate with it but if you do resonate with it it can bring you great insights mm. i think it's definitely whether you believe the thing with the secret is it's using the law of attraction you attract things to you and it's a case of whether you can open your mind to believe that these things are possible if you're very very close-minded it can be very difficult to get in there um and it, it's not a case of saying you won't go anywhere in your life but you you hide in that little bubble of comfort and in order to grow you have to become a student again you're constantly a student and every time you come out of your little bubble you're growing it feels uncomfortable even coming on the zoom today you know we're doing a live recording which is obviously going to be aired and everything you do you you just don't think about it you just just do it whether it feels right or not that will come and it's not only it's only when you're doing it that you know if it feels right or not and the feeling that you get after you have done it is immense that you have come out of your comfort zone but one of the biggest things for me was getting on a plane and flying on my own okay that was really hard and that's all in I think did I put that in my book I can't remember if I did or not now but no I probably didn't but um yeah I had um uh, a few years ago, I had a severe attack of vertigo on oh, a couple no. of flights, and that that was uh, an episode in itself, which I won't go into. But it made me fear flying after that. So when my sister emigrated out to Spain, um, obviously if I wanted to go and see her, I'd have to get on a plane and on my own because uh, I was my husband working. Um, and the first time I went on, I was having panic attacks and breathing and I managed to calm myself. And when I got off that plane, when my nephew flung his arms around me, I was like, I did it. I did it. And I was so proud of myself that I did it. But it was really hard. And that is what coming out of your comfort zone is. It's doing things that are feeling uncomfortable. You get that little knot in your stomach. You feel sick. You want to vomit. That is just, it's all normal. You can either think, well, it's not worth it. I don't want to feel like this and stay in your comfort. Or you push yourself to do these things. And then when you come out the other side, you think, what was I actually afraid of in the first place? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like when I started massaging um, celebrities, 
uh, media and press. No one believed me, of course. Of course. Um, said, no, shy little Anita, no way. She's telling a pack of lies. Until I got packed by um, a major magazine when I was working in London and it was splashed all over social media. And uh, they were like, oh, yeah, she's telling the truth. Yeah. But it was very, very hard to do, very hard. And, but I made myself do it. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, because obviously when you were dealing with media and styles, they don't want the world to know that they're seeing a massage therapist or, or anything like that. So it's not as if you can say, oh, yeah, well, I, I saw so-and-so the other day, you, you know, and did that because, because you can't, because you're in that confidentiality thing. But yeah, when, when the media decides they want to go after somebody that you're working for, then you fall into that, um, cro that crossfire, really, don't you? Absolutely. I talk a lot about my celebrity work in my book because obviously I can't name obviously who I have massaged. Um, but I can talk about obviously the places that I've been to, but it's mostly my feelings, what I went through to overcome um, to be able to do this work. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really so so I take it you're you're, you're, um, you're still doing your, um, uh, your massage therapy and everything as well as the writing yes yeah my business is uh well, I wouldn't say it's back to normal because it's a new normal there are still clients that are still scared to come uh, back I saw a client um, a couple of days ago who I've not seen for two years and even when she came, she was feeling a bit nervous. So I went through all my procedures because I'd never dropped them. And then instantly she relaxed because she knew I was trying to do what I could to keep her safe. Um, I never relaxed any of my measures at all, even when other places were. And I think a lot of clients were pleased that I had mm. kept my procedures um, just to make everyone feel safe. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's 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 really good. so uh, you know if if so, if so, there's somebody watching you know and they kind of like you know they're kind of like thinking you know how on earth do I actually put myself out there how can how can I do this this one thing um, what would you suggest they do just don't think about it the more you think the more you doubt the less you do. And that's quoted by the amazing legendary Fraser Brooks. Because it's true, but the more you think about something, you start to doubt in your mind, should I be doing it? If you just take that leap of faith, that step forward and just go with it, just do it. Yeah. I think that's the best advice I yeah. could give somebody. Excuse yeah. me. And then obviously that's what 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 you've done you you know you've done you've done your, yourself. I mean, when you look back at your your life, because obviously um, working in the law, I mean the flow of attraction and manifestation. That when you look back to your childhood and growing up, do you sort of like now you look back go actually yeah there were synchronicities and everything that that were guiding me towards this this path. Yes, absolutely. I've, I believe everything is put in your path for a reason and you choose whether to take that path or not because your destiny is not written. You choose your destiny and you could go down one path like obviously I did in my pharmacy career and then I went down a beauty therapy career and now it's guiding me on an author career. Now where this career now is going to take me I have got absolutely no idea, but I'm just trusting the process and I'm just going with it. But I'm connecting with an awful lot of screenwriters on Twitter at the moment, so I'm not sure what way it's going to go. I know nothing about screenwriting. Yet. Yet. I knew nothing about being an author. I knew nothing about being a beauty therapist. <laughs> I'm a multi-gold award winning therapist. Being a, a celebrity massage in therapist I knew nothing about that but somehow you just follow the path and just see where it leads you whether it's right or not you just you just have to take the risk life yeah. is risky as Jim Rowan quotes none of us are getting out of here alive why not live a life of adventure right up until the day we leave this this life um that that's what that's what life's all about you can stay safe on your little bubble of comfort 
Um, you can sit at home just watching telly. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. I love a good film. I love a, a good drama. But you shouldn't use it to not try new things yeah. and just follow your heart. Absolutely, absolutely perfect. And that kind of like takes us nicely on to, um, to as, as you know, I do guides meditations and angel oracle card readings. And each week I like to ask my guests what they would like me to do for themselves and those watching. So Anita, would you like me to pull an angel or pull an oracle card or would you like me to do a mini guide meditation? Ooh, first of all, I think angel card. Oh, funny that enough. That just sprung at me. I have them in my hand. <laughs> How weird is that? The first thing that came to me was angel card. Okay, then we, we will definitely use the cards. Now, obviously, when I do the cards, um, I, I do the cards for what you need to know in your present. I don't predict the future with the cards. Um, so even though I work with past life regression and take people back into past lives, we work with past lives to clear and heal them so that they don't affect you in your current life. And when I take people into the future, um, it's to gain insight and wisdom from your future that you can bring back to your present that you need in your current moment. So everything I do is for what we need to know in our present time. So what does Anita and everyone who's watching need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? What does Anita and everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? Oh, okay. Going with that card, does that seem to uh, want to come out? So we have got distant thunder, clear the air. Ooh. Isn't that a beautiful, strong, powerful wow. card? And, uh, so what does that mean? So basically what, what, that, what that is saying is whatever is going on around at the moment, you need to actually clear that to stop the st storm that's going to be coming in coming in so it may be that you might just be slightly aware of it in your in your peripheral um, that there's something that you need to get the air cleared with to stop that that thunderstorm that torrent to actually um, break um, uh, into, into, into into physical being now you, you can't kind of, you can stop it before it happens um you know you, you, it's, it's in the distance it's coming close okay let's stop it before it gets here and that lightning strikes and everything just goes 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 to chaos so this is sort of like saying you know clear the air once you clear the air it's amazing what new opportunities are going to come in for you um yeah i think that's really um all all the all the card has, has got to say for that that's interesting. Yeah. It is. And again, it ties in with what, with what we've been talking about um, as well mm. with, with your mindset. It's clearing out, um, you know, addressing all that stuff that you think stops you moving forward. But really, it doesn't. And when you clear that stuff, you clear the air from it and you have a new perspective. You can actually move forward and actually, you know, step into your power to be who you are supposed to be mm. wow that's amazing thank you and and that's so yeah so you know that's just not for Anita that is for everyone who's um, watching as well you know clear clear the air of something whether it's something personal to you saying that's happening on around you but just clear that air to stop that storm coming and you'll be amazed at the opportunities um, that actually will come your way and that so Anita do you have any insights or thoughts to leave our viewers well my thoughts and insights definitely follow your heart follow your dreams if you have visions and they keep coming back to you trust them just just go with it don't question it just just do it Perfect. Absolutely brilliant wisdom um, that we should all follow. And, and sometimes I think we do, but sometimes we forget. So that's a really good mm -hmm. reminder. So thank you so much, Anita, for that. So I hope everyone you've enjoyed this conversation and found it insightful because I know I definitely have. So Anita, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? Yeah, um, I'm having a new website um, created by my web designer at the moment for my author, um, which is um, anitasweatman.com. So it's A-N-I-T-A, 
S-W-E-T-M-A-N.com. Uh, that should be live in the next couple of weeks. Um, you can also connect with me via email, Anita Sweatman at btinternet.com. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter um, at Anita Sweatman. I'm also on LinkedIn. Uh, you can join me on there. I'm on Instagram, not too much on there. I don't uh, use Instagram a lot. <laughs> uh, Facebook, I've got an official author page um, as well set up, which is um, at Anita Sweatman Official. Um, so you can find me on there as well. Um, you can go to my beauty website so you can see all the treatments I've done, um, which will connect you to my um, business Facebook, which shows all the celebrities that I've um, had the privilege of meeting as well. And that's uh, trunkofbeauty.org.uk. Um, so, yeah, just go on there. You can find my Facebook. Yeah, so we, we, can, we can find you everywhere, basically. Absolutely. Oh, which, is, which is really good you know you need to um to to be out there um so when is your book due to be released well i just ordered my first copy yesterday your first edition so as soon as that comes through then i can order my copies for signing so it's actually been officially launched on monday the 14th of february on amazon and then on Thursday, the 17th of February, on all major online bookstores around the world, libraries and universities as well. So wherever you are in the world, uh, you can go online and you can find my book. Brilliant. brilliant. And by when this show goes live, it will already be out. It certainly will. And then if any one of you are local to Stratford-on-Avon, I'm having a real life book launch as well on Saturday, the 5th of March. So if you'd like to attend my book launch, um, then I can get in touch with me and I can send you the details and I'll be book signing on the day. Absolutely perfect. And um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll post all those links um, onto, uh, on, onto, onto, the, onto the page. So again, thank you, Anita, for sharing your wisdom. It's been absolutely brilliant. Yeah, um, thanks, so uh, you're, you're welcome. And of course, for those watching, you know, if you have reached crossroads in your life and you need some guidance in finding the meaning of your life and getting clear on your path, then I'd love to be that guide for you. So please feel free to reach out and connect with me and we can arrange a free 20, 30 minute video call to help you gain clarity on where you're going and how you can empower yourself to take charge of your destiny. And I am running a retreat down in Glastonbury in June. It is limited in numbers. Um, so if you're interested in finding more out um, about yourself and gaining some clarity and insights, healing your past, creating your future and transforming your present, do check it out. And please feel free to um, join my weekly newsletter and get a free future life progression recording where I take you into future lifetime to get guidance and clarity that you can use in your current life as well as a couple of other free gifts. So thank you everyone so much for watching and I'd like to invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you. And of course, if you are watching this on YouTube, then please feel free to subscribe. <laughs> Every subscribe helps. And, you know, and there is a bell notification button so you can be notified of when the show goes live or when I post new guided meditations. And I look forward to seeing you all same time, same place next week. Take care. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye.